We're going to be making an Android app using App Inventor in this course. This video is just a short introduction as to how to get your first app up and running using the emulator that's built into um, the App Inventor software. So firstly you need to go to the App Inventor website. The easiest way is Google it and go straight there. And then hit the create button at the top. You need to log in. Um, your school account, your school uh, Google account, should work just fine. Um, I'm using an account which is also a Google account. So once you've logged in, uh, you are in a place where you get a bunch of pop-ups about stuff, um, which you can happily ignore. Um, so you need to go to create a new project to begin with. I'm going to create a project called Hello. It's a good idea to call it something meaningful because you'll end up with a whole list of projects in the end. So if you've just called them ASDFGH or whatever, then um, you will get very lost as to what is what. So Hello is going to be quite descriptive about what this actual app is. So this uh, little screen that we see here is the actual um, screen you'll see on your phone or on the emulator uh, if you're using the emulator. Um, over here on the left are the things that we can drop onto there and over on the right are some properties of the thing we're looking at. We're looking at the screen at the moment, uh, one of the properties is the background colour. I'm going to change it to something nice and bright so I can tell if it's actually running. And I'm just going to drag a label onto there and I'll change that text on that label, say hello and I'm going to make the font size something so it's a bit easier to read. Just click out so it's nice and big. Cool. So I now want to run this on the emulator. Um, this is a complex, slightly complex business, uh, but you only need to do it once per lesson. You need to go to the S drive, to technology, to the folder that says Python and uh, App Inventor, and start the AI Starter program. I am just using a slightly different setup here and I've just got AI starter running there. So I see this little window and that means it's thinking about uh, running an emulator. So now if I go to connect and I go to the emulator, hopefully everything will connect and it will fire up the emulator uh, and it's looking good over here because this is working. So the emulator is a, is a phone basically, but it's, it was pretending to be a phone is running on this computer. Um, anyone who's ever had an Android phone will find it fairly familiar. It's just booting up now. So it started the actual phone software and now it's booting the normal kind of Android phone boot. So some of this will be fairly familiar. It takes a little while, while to uh, start. So just be patient. It's quite easy to stuff up this process if you um, if you start two emulators for instance or you log in incorrectly or there's a plethora of different ways that you can stuff this up. So be, you need to be quite switched on and be prepared to close everything down maybe even reboot your computer if, nothing, if it's not behaving. So it's now fired up the computer, it's fired up the connection software on um, the phone and there's my app running on the phone. So this just runs like any normal um, phone. I, I can even turn the volume up and down on the phone. It will look, looks just like a phone. Uh, and the great thing about running it in the emulator rather than using an actual phone is for development you can basically see stuff happen straight away. So if I go over here and drop another label on that immediately gets updated over on the emulator and if I put in um, a bit of text and change the font size, you'll see that reflected immediately on the um, on the emulator. So there you go. That we're now in a position we can actually start making stuff and doing things on um, an app. So that was just a very quick show how to get an app running in the emulator using the App Inventor software.